Here is another video in uh, the continuing saga of the post-mortem post -mortem of the 300 SL engine. And we are looking at the, the block after the head has been removed. And Steve will lead us around the um, how to read the, the, the results of leaky gaskets. Well, I just, uh, first off we can see how the tops of the pistons I uh, have lots of clean spots and lots of carbon spots, and this one is particularly dirtier-ish. This one here is nice and steam clean and has almost no buildup on it, and is wet here in the part of the combustion chamber. That's part of the miracle and of water injection. This was also the cylinder that when we were taken apart had the uh, wet fuel injector and the wet spark plug, even though it hasn't run in, in many days. And wet being... Uh, Water. Water, yes. Coated with liquid water. Uh, <clears throat> the easiest thing to see as far as leakage is on the head gasket itself, which is still on the cylinder head. Which we will get to next. Uh, we can show you on that. But uh, and we're going to need to check the cylinder walls for scoring and all that. We also know that the piston, this engine has been bored. If we look on this piston here, we can easily see the 8596 which is the piston size which means that that is the second oversized piston so it's not in stock configuration and on the cylinder head if we look at the head gasket first off we can see our number five cylinder has almost no carbon build up on it compared to the other cylinders and then as we look on the head gasket, we can see the discoloration around the fire ring on many of the cylinders that shows where the combustion gases were leaking out of the combustion chamber and also allowing coolant to enter into the combustion chamber, which explains the wetness and the steam cleaned look and the loose carbon. And we show signs of leakage on five, four, three, two and one so out of the out of the six cylinders on the engine the head gasket was failing on five of them yep what you want is a nice shiny fire ring which you can see here and then when you get to the discolored area it obviously was not sealing and you can see on this Number six here is our best example. It's basically clean and shiny all the way around, as opposed to number five, which gets very dirty and very corroded around to the exhaust side. So these water ports were leaking. Yeah, water, water, water coming up through the cylinder head. Yeah, we got a fair amount of corrosion inside the, the uh, water diverters. Um, I should think for such low mileage you would, you would not have had that kind of rust and corrosion in there, especially since, well, no, because those are, those are supposed to be, these, those are spo uh, uh, supposed to be aluminum. That's what I thought. And, and um, they look like steel. They could yeah, be they steel inserts. All right. But anyway, problems, problems, problems.